teased. If you would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, guys, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we have another 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review on the brand new Top Talents 2018 Finn Balor and Phenomenal AJ Styles. There are four figures in this set. There is Braun Strowman, which we covered yesterday in a rant video. If you guys would like to go check that video out. Very, uh, very comical rant about that figure, how I felt about that figure. It didn't even deserve its full review. And then Seth Rollins is also in this set. However, I did a fix-up with him, and so um, we pretty much already took a look at him in my fix-ups video from Sunday. So if you guys would like to check out Seth Rollins, go check out Sunday's video. And then if you guys would like to check out Braun Strowman, go check out yesterday's video. But anyways, covering the two best figures in the set, we have Finn Balor and AJ Styles here. Guys, we'll cover their packaging real quick. Got a beautiful picture of Finn Balor here. We have AJ Styles' name on this side. On the back, we do get really cool picture images of each one of these guys. I believe this is both of their WrestleMania 34 attires. And um, so you have a picture of them at WrestleMania 34 here. You have a read-up. If you'd like to read either of those, you can pause it now. You have the other figures in the wave down here. Finn Balor's name on this side. We have AJ, or no, oh, no, ugh. AJ Styles picture on this side and that pretty much does it for your WWE Elite figure packaging on these guys. So let's go ahead and crack them out of the packaging. I'm excited for both of these guys. So let's go ahead and hit it. So here we have Finn Balor and AJ Styles out of their packaging guys. Very nice looking figures on both of these. Very excited again like I said for both of these guys. I think AJ Styles, this is probably the best AJ Styles hands down. Um, I don't think it's even close in my personal opinion. I just like this head scan. I like this attire a lot more and uh, he has great accessories as well. And then Finn Balor, I don't think this is better than the ringside exclusive. However, it is still a really good Finn Balor. I'll get into what could have made it a little bit better in uh, in future segments of this video. But you can take a look here at both figures before we get into the in-depth review. I mean, the, these things are absolutely terrific. So what we're going to do is take a closer look at AJ Styles' accessories and then AJ Styles, and then we'll take a closer look at Finn Balor's accessories and Finn Balor. So getting into AJ Styles' accessories first, guys, we do have his entrance vest here, and we have seen this mold in the past. You can see it is his entrance gear from WrestleMania 34. Very nice colors here. You got the light blue, the silver, and the uh, silver buckles going on there. You have holes in the front for the interchangeable pieces here. So you have a hoodie down version and then a hoodie up version. I really hate this. I just think that it, I don't even use these hooded accessories. I usually sell them because um, I'll never use it. I'd rather have a cloth accessory or I'd just rather put the vest on with no hoodie at all. But spinning around the back, you got a very beautiful P1 logo on there painted very nicely. It looks like it's a bit oversized, like it's already connected on the back there. I don't know if that's accurate. I feel like this is too big. But I'm not complaining, not a big deal to me. You got another, uh, just, just a beautiful P1 logo in that light blue and silver color. And then we have his interchangeable hands. And for some reason, my AJ gloves are just like, that is not where the AJ logo goes. The AJ logo does not go right here on his hands. So I don't know why they did that. It seems like it's a bit worse on these hands than on the fisted hands or... As I'm taking a closer look at it now, it looks like the left-fisted hand on my AJ is perfect pretty much, but then the right-fisted hand is a little bit off, but we'll get into that later. But I am digging these hands. I think they work really, really well for AJ, and I'll probably have to pick up another one of these and uh, possibly switch them onto my custom AJ that I made, and we're going to do a comparison between that AJ. But anyways, guys, that's AJ's accessories. Let's get into AJ himself. So getting into AJ Styles himself, guys, you can see here this is the same head scan that we got on the Elite 61 AJ Styles figure. Same exact torso as well you know the hairy chest you got his uh, fourth uh, kids tattoo down there it is his daughter we have his uh, elbow pad on there as well it is not open however it does have the nice blue colorway on there so you do get that nice detail right there on the left hand you have his armband and this is a first I don't think we've ever seen the P1 logo actually on the uh, armband so that is painted on there but you can see the P1 logo if you guys can see um, it is in white, so it's kind of hard uh, to see there, but that is accurate to the way it was at WrestleMania 34. Um, the gloves, as you can see, like this is what I was talking about. Look how off that AJ Styles logo is. I don't think it's supposed to be pretty much all the way on the thumb there. It's supposed to be uh, right here, so I don't know why they did that. On this one, you can see it's a lot better. Um, so it's definitely out of line there. You got Styles written on his wrist, and then you have this beautiful AJ Styles attire. This is definitely one of my favorite AJ attires that he's ever worn in WWE. 
you have the gray color, you have the white belt with the blue trim, you got the uh, designs going all the way around here, you have P1 on this side, it is in a silver color there, so it is different from the actual tights. You have the stripes going down, very nice, blue background on the P1. We have on the other side, it says AJ, and this is another beautiful logo there. I love that AJ logo, very similar to the P1, but a little bit different. You have the uh, blue background, silver over the AJ, and then it is the first time ever that we're getting knee pads on our AJ Styles figure. So not only are they knee pads, or no, the Network Spotlight came with knee pads, but these are accurate knee pads. So we have open black knee pads, which is accurate to AJ Styles from WrestleMania 34, and then on the kick pads we have phenomenal one and on the top here I do have a little bit of trimming issues there's like some gray I'm gonna have to touch that up with black but it is a beautiful looking AJ Styles figure so let's go ahead and get into some AJ Styles elite figure comparisons so taking a look at some other AJ Styles elite figures guys you can see here the top talents is in the front here is my custom AJ Styles and you can see they're very similar um, I was actually inspired by this attire a little bit you can see the light blue color with the black silver and uh, everything going through really looks nice. I really like the way that came out. I do need to touch it up a bit though. After he wore it, it sold out. You know, he got a little beat up, so I'll have to touch that up. But I really do love, these are probably my two favorite AJs in my collection. You have the Elite 56 over here. You have my Elite 47 fix up with the Elite 56 kick pads. We have the Elite 61 here. We have the Network Spotlight. And then we have his first time in the line, AJ Styles with the Elite 47 back here. And I do not have the Elite 51 right now because I have always used it to make customs. That's what this was, so I made that into a custom, so I'll have to get another one of those. But I um, really love the AJs. I do have, I think, uh, another Elite 61. I have a couple customs. I have another Network Spotlight, and then I have three more of the Elite 47, I think. So I do have quite the number of AJ Styles. I need to make some different customs and stuff. But that does it for your AJ Styles Elite figure comparisons. So getting into Finn Balor's accessories, guys, you can see he does come with the same jacket he had with the ringside exclusive figure, except on the back, the Balor Club logo. And I think on that ringside exclusive, it said Balor Club actually spelled out. It was his first jacket. It was in black. But this one is his other Balor Club logo, except it has the rainbow, obviously, for his WrestleMania 34 attire. Very trash accessory. I hate that it's rubber. You can't articulate him when he's wearing this jacket. They really need to give us a cloth accessory, so that is unfortunate, but, you know, it's it's whatever. I guess you could hack the sleeves off and have a vest if you wanted to, but then he does come with interchangeable hands, and they're supposed to be like his entrance hands. Um, I don't know. I, it, I don't feel like he does it exactly like this. I mean, I guess he does, but I would have preferred a two-sweet hand um, with him and AJ Styles, maybe open hands. And a, at least one too sweet hand would have been sweet, but um, I guess these these will do for now. I just think in the future maybe we could get um, something other than open hands. But that pretty much does it for Finn's accessories, guys. So let's take a closer look at Finn Balor himself. So taking a look at one of the most underutilized talents in the entire world in WWE, we have Finn Balor right here, guys. We'll take a zoom in shot of the head scan. And taking a closer look at the head scan, guys. I don't know. It's not the worst head scan, but I think the eyes need to be repainted or something. It's just not. I don't know. It's weird to me. Um, I just don't feel like it's perfect. It's definitely there. Like The likeness to Finn Balor is there. I would just rather prefer um, a faded haircut. I'll probably repaint it myself because I really like his faded hair look. Um, you know, down here, I fade my hair myself, so, like, our haircuts are very similar. Uh, mine's a bit longer, but it, you see here, I'd like to fade that out, and then I would prefer to have his beard, like, short right here, but then molded down here. So, you know, sort of creates, like, a thick to fade to thin to back to thick for the beard. So that is personally a head scan that I would like to see. And um, I think I like the smirking head scan better. We'll take a closer look later on in the video. But um, you can see here they actually did give him the ripped up torso, which is absolutely beautiful. The uh, This is the second non-demon Finn Balor Elite that we've gotten that has the accurate torso. So hopefully they give it to us with every single demon moving forward. I know that uh, we have problems with that. You do have standard arms. I think these arms work for Finn Balor. Black wrist tape on there. You do get interchangeable hands, like I said. He has choke slamming hands, which is unfortunate. I'd rather him just have Mike holding hands instead. You have his Balor Club logo there. It's kind of hard to make out. I don't know if that is completely accurate. I feel like it wasn't that jumbled together. But the back logo looks really good. I really like how strong that looks. It is very clean and everything. So hopefully when these guys hit retail, I can pick up 162 of these Finn Balor so I can do the different attires. But um, really nice logo application right there. No chipping or anything thing there. On the back of the knee pads you have your standard Finn Balor knee pads with the rainbow on the back. Little extra feeding yellow over there. I'm going to have to cover that up. 
um, and uh, the rest of it's pretty clean besides a little notch in the purple. And then on the back of the kick pads you have the rainbow design continued. So the kick pads and the trunks on the back turned out really, really clean. Like the way that came out, but that pretty much does it for Finn Balor, guys. So let's go ahead and get into some Finn Balor Elite comparisons. So taking a closer look at some Elite figure comparisons, guys, we have the ringside exclusive Finn Balor on the right and then the Top Talents 2018 Finn Balor on the left. Which one do you guys prefer? I don't know. I feel like if you mix these, I feel like the eyes are more accurate over here, but there's something off about it. I feel like it's too pro The eyes just look weird to me. Um, I think one of his first head scans was pretty good as well. I don't think he's had a trash head scan, but um, I don't know. They just haven't nailed it yet. You know how Roman Reigns and AJ Styles and Samoa Joe and Seth Rollins, they all have new head scans that are just perfect. I think that Finn Balor needs to get one of those, so hopefully soon we'll get one of those. But you can see the differences here. Not very much different. I did paint the outsoles white. Just think it looks a lot better, a lot more clean there. But um, that pretty much does it for your Finn Balor comparisons. I didn't want to use the Demons because I'd have to get all of the demons down and I'm not going to do that for an unpainted Finn Balor so hopefully when we get a new demon I can do that but let's move on to the next segment. The joke's on you guys because there is no more segments in this video that pretty much does it for your 2-in-1 Elite Figure review on the Top Talents 2018 Finn Balor and AJ Styles. Guys, if you would like to pick either of these guys up, you can go over to ringsidecollectibles.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save 10% and grab these guys. My overall thoughts on both of them are must-grabs. I think they're excellent. You know, I think the Top Talents Finn Balor will be a lot easier to get than the Ringside Exclusive. Like I said, hopefully these things will be pumped out of retail like it's going out of business. You can just grab 160 of them. I think they'll be filling up Walmarts very very soon so hopefully that is the case hopefully by Christmas um, hopefully before that but you know hopefully by Christmas they're filling up Walmart but um, I love both of them to death I think the best AJ Styles to date um, I don't know if I like it I don't know if I like the Finn Balor more than the ringside exclusive but it's definitely an upgrade as far as interchangeable hands you can use it you know a very cheap way to get you know customs made so that is also a plus and it looks great with this Ralph's figure clothing jacket on there so definitely go over to Ralph's and pick one of those up but thank you guys so very much for watching I, I, I you know it sucks that AJ Styles over here with the WWE Championship and my boy Finn over here is just getting rotten on Monday Night Raw guys another match with Bobby Lashley another match with Bobby Lashley. This man needs the Universal Championship and a freaking just character upgrade so bad, guys. It's just so sad to see. He is literally one of the best talents in the entire world, and he's just being just wasted to death. But that does it for today's video, guys. Hopefully he can upgrade and get that Universal title back very soon. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.